All right, let's look at this one. <clears throat> All right, 50 uh, kilogram disc is subjected to the couple moment of 9T. Okay, so our moment has a T in it. Uh, where T is in seconds, determine the angular velocity of the disc. When T is equal to four seconds, starting from rest. Okay. So, <clears throat> you know, in, in this section, we have been summing our forces uh, in the X equals MAX, summing our forces in the Y equals MAY, summing our moments equals IG alpha. <clears throat> It asks for angular velocity. Angular velocity is nowhere in our three equations. Our equations of motion, angular velocity is nowhere in here. Do you see what we're going to have to do? We're going to have to find alpha, and then it's kinematics. Then it's, hey, here's your alpha. It might be in terms of T. Uh, what is your velocity? All right, so let's still stick with our uh, usual... <clears throat> stick with our usual setup, some of the forces in X... Some of the forces in Y. Now, I don't think these two... You, you could definitely do these. Now, you know, you would get that OX is zero. You would get that OY is equal to the weight of the disc. <clears throat> it wouldn't really add anything. Now, I'm going to go ahead and jump to my moment equation. Let's sum my moments about G. <clears throat> All right. Have I um, defined alpha before... Have I? Do I need to worry about the direction? You can define your axes any direction you want the first time, but just remember the next time and the next time, um, you know, stay consistent. Uh, because this moment is going clockwise, because it starts from rest, I, I, I know that the velocities, everything's going clockwise. So I'm going to sum my moments clockwise. All right, some of the moments about G. Uh, what is... OX goes straight through it. OY goes straight through it. The weight goes straight through it. I really should have drawn a better, a good free body diagram. Uh, none of those contribute to the moment. The only moment we have is NT, and that equals IG alpha. All right, this is a disc. If it doesn't give us any K value, any rate of, gy of gyration, then we can assume it's uniform. And a uniform disc, if you look in the back of the book, it's actually the I for a cylinder. So the I for a disc or the I for a cylinder down the middle of it is one half M R squared. One half M R squared. So this is I G alpha and I G is one half M R squared. That's I. And there's my alpha. There's my alpha. All right. <clears throat> so this equation, let me just uh, divide this over here. I would get alpha is 4t. I would get alpha is 4t. Okay. I can handle that. That was, they, they just, they gave me the most roundabout way to tell me, hey, you know, the angular acceleration of this disc is 4t. What is the angular velocity after four seconds? And, and we've done these problems before, right? They give me an equation for angular acceleration. I'm asked to find angular velocity. Do not use any of those constant equations because this is not a constant acceleration. Uh, but if I'm given an equation for acceleration and I want to find velocity, that's an integral, right? Go back to those our formula sheet. Those integrals, I would integrate. It's it's with respect to t, so I don't have to, um, you know, it's just the usual integration. This is omega minus omega initial, but I think it started from rest, so that was zero. Uh, it's the integral of 4t, t squared over 2. Right, the integral of t is t squared over 2. So, and many times you, you want, want maybe let's go ahead and write an equation for angular velocity, 2t squared. You know, in case I wanted to integrate that again or something. Uh, but now it just wants that at when t is equal to 4. So this would be 32 radians per second. If it started from rest and it's accelerating clockwise, this would be clockwise. This would be clockwise. Okay? So sometimes <clears throat> this moment equation just gives us an equation for alpha and then we can use that alpha 
right? We can use that alpha to find velocities or find any other things uh, that we want to find, all right?